hello friends welcome to this tutorial please do subscribe my channel in this tutorial we will learn about flowchart to demonstrate about flowchart i'll create a blank project i'll name it as flowchart demo i'll add some description this is demo project for flowchart I'll create a workflow using flowchart. I'll name it as flowchart demo. I will add some annotation. This workflow demonstrate about flowchart. I'll also create one more workflow using sequence because with this sequence i want to demonstrate about some of the differences between flowchart and sequence i'll name it as sequence demo now i'll add some activities to this sequence i will add two right line activity as we have seen in my previous video also using sequence we can execute activities always in linear direction means first this right line will be executed then next right line this one will be executed also one point to be noted is that there is one connector between these two activity these two right line and this connector is added automatically whenever we add a new activity and we cannot change direction of this connector means this connector will be connected always to the next activity now we will move to our flowchart by using flowchart we can redirect flow of application in various direction i will demonstrate this with the help of an example i'll create some variable as level 1 standard salary with integer data type I'll assign some default value 70,000 level 2 2 standard salary with data type integer with default value 50,000 another variable level with the string data type one more variable employee salary emp cell with integer data type now i'll use two input dialog box as i want to capture two input from user so in my first input dialog i'll capture level enter level title as level i'll capture this value inside variable level in my second input dialog box i'll capture salary enter salary salary i'll capture this value in variable emp cell now i'll take one more activity that will be flow decision 
I'll connect this with my previous activity. Here, this connector, as I discussed that in sequence, we cannot change direction of this connector. But here, in sequence, we can change direction of this connector manually too. So, here in this connector, I'll specify one condition. Level equal to L1 and EMP cell less than level 1 standard salary or second condition level equal to L2 L2 and EMP cell less than level 2 standard cell. So this condition I have added over here. Now I'll add two message box. This one if condition is met or true. Another message box if condition is not met or not true. If condition is met, I'll display one message salary less than standard salary for this level. In another case, I'll display one message salary OK as per standard salary for this level. I'll execute this level. L1 salary 65,000. I'm getting message salary less than standard salary for this level. I'll execute again. This time again L1 L1 salary 75,000. Salary OK as per standard salary for this level. This is how flowchart works. With this, I will wind up this session. Please like this video and watch it again in case you missed any of the steps.